Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Indian School of Physics. Guys, this is Nitin here and uh, today I have come up with a very interesting problem and uh, very smart solution as well. It's a trick video. Uh, so guys, here is the statement of uh, this problem. Uh, a laser is placed at uh, the midpoint of base in an isosceles triangular room having vertical plane mirrors as walls. The angle opposite to the base of the triangle is theta as shown in the figure. The laser beam is projected at an angle alpha with the bisector line in such a way that the beam comes back to the initial point after n reflections with the inclined walls. Establish a relation between alpha, theta and n in order to achieve the given situation. Uh, so let's discuss the concept uh, part of it. It's uh, one of the pathfinder uh, problems modification. Uh, so here the concept part is we can see here it, it's quite complicated problem if you try uh, going by a reflection logic however uh, the much easier uh, approach in this problem will be uh, it, it will just turn into a geometry problem so what we are going to do is this is the triangle here first triangle right and this light ray is going in this direction after reflection it will be going somewhere here so if we bring a same triangle next to each other uh, and extend the same line so this will be the point of uh, second collision this is the first collision and in actual case light rays goes like this and this will represent here uh, the position of second collision now imagine uh, the source is here and uh, then one more time if i creep this uh, triangle here uh, this will represent the uh, position of collision 3 or you can say reflection 3 similar problems we can have in collision as well elastic collision uh, so here this is the third collision or third reflection similarly uh, for the next one if we keep doing it by placing one extra triangle here and here and here since here it is midpoint so this nth reflection will be somewhere here and after that this light ray will go back to the point a uh, which is uh, which i am writing as b here so it is just this straight line and after uh, any such uh, reflections here these are the points where reflections will take place in actual case this uh, geometry will be little uh, complicated but it will be somewhat related to this only uh, so path of light ray can be projected in the same direction by placing identical triangles next to each other with the each reflection as shown in the figure and all these angles are theta 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 now you can see here this is first collision uh, first reflection here and this is the second uh, reflection here now when second reflection is there this is first theta by the way this angle is theta by 2 this is theta and when third collision uh, or uh, third reflection happens then this angle total will be 2 theta. So like this, if we go from here to here, we are going to see total angle of n minus 1 theta. Let's check in the next diagram. So just now I have explained the same thing. When it is first uh, reflection here, it's, it goes like this. If I extend this here, when it is second reflection, uh, then this angle is theta. Third reflection angle is 2 theta. Uh, fourth reflection angle is going to be 3 theta similarly uh, for nth reflection here this total angle is going to be n minus 1 theta and from the bisector here i can say this angle is theta by 2 and this angle is also theta by 2 by symmetry other side it is at the midpoint so if i consider this uh, triangle here this will be a isosceles triangle and here if it is uh, and these triangles are generating a regular polygon it is generating a regular polygon so here you can see if this angle is alpha by symmetry i can say when this angle is going to be alpha this is n minus 1 times theta this is theta by 2 this is theta by 2 so how much this total uh, angle is going to be n n theta it will become right so sum of this this and this angle is going to be pi so 2 alpha plus n minus 1 theta plus theta by 2 plus theta by 2 and that sum is going to be pi when i simplify this i am going to get 2 alpha plus n theta is equal to pi this is going to be the final answer for this problem 
I hope guys you have uh, understood this problem very well. It's a very nice concept. Same concept we can use in case of elastic collision. Imagine uh, there is an elastic collision. So it will follow the same procedure as this problem which is the case of reflection. In fact, uh, the mm, elastic collision and uh, reflection their results are quite similar in terms of uh, vector wise if we see so hence this will work for collision problem also it's a very interesting concept i hope you have enjoyed it uh, this problem looks complicated but uh, the solution is very very simple so if you have enjoyed this uh, video please leave a like share this video with the others and if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe it i'll be coming up very soon with another amazing problem thank you thanks for watching it